Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I'm going to be starting a quick little series on two products that were sent to me. So both of these products were sent to me by GoTrust uh, for a review so I did not purchase these directly and both of these are security keys essentially from obviously what you can see. And I will be doing two videos, one on each of these and what I think of them and going through pretty much all the features that these things have to offer. This video is going to be on the item card. If you want to see a video on the item key, please make sure that you're clicking the link up here in the top right hand corner. This is the item card and this is the one I'm actually the most excited about because it essentially puts two-factor authentication technology in the size of a credit card. There's a lot to like about this. It's designed mainly to be used in enterprise solutions as an ID badge that can also unlock a computer, provide that 2FA, but also physical security in other formats. A couple of key features that are worth pointing out is that this does have an internal battery that lasts about 60 days, 10 uses a day and it will charge up in about two hours. The standby time, according to the manufacturer, is 120 days, but you can actually turn the entire card on and off, which would increase the longevity, of course, of that battery life. It does use Bluetooth 4.1 low energy, and it also has NFC, so this will pretty much connect to nearly anything out there and provide that secure login option. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we get inside. Okay, so the very first thing that we have is the actual card itself. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn neat. It's a lot more flexible than I thought it was gonna be, to be brutally honest with you. That's impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and keep unboxing though. Okay, and then underneath here, we have the charger. The instructions for this are pretty straightforward. You need to essentially get this thing into a pairing mode. And to do that, apparently we press and hold. And now that it is flashing, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this X220, which has been modified for Bluetooth, and go into devices, add a Bluetooth device. We've got the item card uh, listed up here. So we're gonna tell it to connect. And the card now shows up in the list of paired devices, which is excellent. So to set this thing up for Windows login, you will need the app that's in the App Store. And once you, uh, it finds the key, it's going to go ahead and register the card. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up this key on that email account that also has the GoTrust ID uh, item key. So we're going to hit next. And we've got our card. Let's go ahead and tap that. We will tell it to allow. And there you go. It is good to go. And as you can see, both of those keys are there and they are functioning just the way that you would expect them to. We can confirm that once again by going on my phone and logging into the account that that card has been set up for. And it wants me to use a security key. So in this case, I am gonna use this with its NFC. So I'm going to tap it, turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the NFC put it against the phone, and there we go. All done. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not have Windows Hello on your computer, and let me tell you, that's been something I've really, really enjoyed having on my Surface Book 2, and you wanna up your security game, uh, this to me is a fantastic idea. The fact that this will fit in your wallet and be very inconspicuous. And the fact that it supports Bluetooth, NFC, pretty much any standard that you would want uh, to use this card to connect with is absolutely fantastic. It does command a bit of a higher price point. I think they're mainly looking at uh, getting some corporate clients. And if I had to secure a company, this would definitely be on my short list of products to vet. 
Um, this is very, very awesome. Uh, like I said, though, if you're using something like this, you do want to have a backup, and they offer both of those solutions, which is pretty excellent, a one-stop shop, if you will. Anyway, if you have any sort of questions about this, I will be using it over the next few weeks, so do let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you really enjoy this content and would like to support the channel, I'm going to encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so the next time I feature a security card product or if I uh, do an update video to this, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.